Hello YouTube, it's your girl Tori. Um, I am just coming back to you just to let you know that I am still focused, I am still fired up, and I am still on my journey to November 4th, um, where I, in my previous video I let you know that I'm trying to lose a few pounds, um, tone up, you know, all of that in one. So, you know, a lot of toning up um, and losing a few pounds. Um, but I just wanted to come back because I know that there are a few of you that are joining me um, on your own journey um, of wanting to do kind of the same thing. So I wanted to give you um, a few tips um, just to kind of keep you motivated because I didn't, I don't want to leave you hanging or think that I've forgotten you or you know any of that kind of thing. So um, I did want to give you a few tips today. So the first tip that I want to give you is to um, start each day with a motivational phrase, okay? Uh, we have so many apps now that we can download that will give you a motivational phrase each day. So think about maybe downloading those so that first thing in the morning when you get up and you look at your phone, you see that motivational phrase that's going to kind of set the tone for the day and get you on your way to doing what you're supposed to do. Um, the second tip that I want to give is to set small goals. Don't start out with the, the mindset that you want to lose 10 pounds by the end of week one because most likely it's not going to happen and if it does, you're not doing it in a safe way that's going to keep the pounds off. Okay, so set small goals for yourself. Um, you know, maybe by the end of week one, say I want to lose a pound. Or it doesn't even have to be about a number. You know, maybe say by the end of week one, I want to replace my sodas with water. Okay, and then that's going to surely bring about change of itself. So set small goals. Um, the next tip I want to give you is to write down your goals. It's really important to write down your goals because believe it or not, a lot of times when we say that we are going to do things and we don't write them down, we kind of forget. You know, we kind of forget what we said we were going to do, how we said we were going to do it. We forget, we forget the specifics of it. So definitely write down your goals. Um, the next thing, the next tip I would like to give you is don't compare yourself to anyone else. You are you. Okay, so don't compare yourself. If you and a friend are starting this together... And if at, you know, the end of week one, week two, your friend maybe has lost some weight and you haven't, it's okay. You know, just keep going. Um, and this kind of ties into my next tip for you is to trust the process. So just because you are not losing those pounds that you expected to lose by the end of week one or week two, even if you're working really, really hard, trust the process. Because trust me, you're healing from the inside out. And so eventually you are going to see those pounds start to come off or you're going to start to see your skin clear up. You're going to start to see some results. So a lot of times the, um, the results that you see will be non-scale victories. It's not always about the number on the scale moving. Um, so that was going to be one of my tips also was to celebrate your successes, even if it's not losing five pounds or six or seven or eight pounds. You know, what if your face is looking clearer? You know, what if your tummy is looking tighter? Um, what if you can walk further without breathing hard? Those are all non-scale victories. And, and celebrate those. You know, celebrate those successes um, as you reach those. Um, also, reward yourself. Reward yourself when you reach those successes. Um, because you are going to know. You are going to know when you're. this is working. So celebrate yourself, not with food, you know, don't celebrate yourself with food, but, you know, maybe get your nails done, um, maybe get your hair done. Um, anything that's going to make you feel good about yourself for the accomplishments that you are, um, are reaching. Um, another tip that I have, and this is a really hard one, but it's true. Don't expect everyone to support you. That's a really hard one because, you know, especially family, you would think, you know, close friends, you would think a lot of times that that's where your biggest support is going to come from. But a lot of times it doesn't. 
just simply because sometimes people don't understand what you're doing. They don't understand why you're doing it. They don't understand why you can't just do the things you've always done. You look fine to them. So they're like, why are you acting brand new? Why are you not eating the fried food with me? You know, why do you want a salad instead of getting... They don't understand. And so people just don't support your decision to do better for you. But the funny thing is, when you keep doing it, and you keep trusting the process, and then they see your success. They see you dropping the pounds. They see your skin clearing up because you're drinking water instead of soda. They see your clothes fitting you better. They're going to be like, what did you tell me you were doing again? And then they're going to want to they're gonna want to jump on the bandwagon with you, and they're going to want to do it too. But just in the beginning, don't expect everybody to support you and be your biggest cheerleader, you know, because... Most of the time, it just doesn't happen. And it's not, I don't, a lot of times, it's not out of malice. It's not out of people hating on you all the time. But it's just simply because people don't like change and they don't like to see their friends change from something that, you know, you've always done. Um, another tip that I have for you, and this is kind of, um, this is kind of iffy, you know, but this weighing yourself every day. A lot of people cannot or should not get on the scale every day because if you get on the scale every day and you're working super hard, you know, you are, you're eating a salad for lunch every day, you're, you know, you're, you're doing everything that you know you should do. You've cut out sodas, you've done this, you've done that, and the number just will not budge. If you're getting on the scale every day, sometimes that can be really discouraging. And so you stop. You just stop doing it because you're like, this is not working. This is not for me. When in reality, it is going to work. It, it can't not work because when you're doing what's right, when you're eating in the way that you should be eating, you're cutting out things, a lot of times the scale is not going to budge right away because you're healing from the, from the inside out. And so the numbers don't always reflect, but other things are happening. You know, you're doing good in other areas and then later on down the road the scale is going to start to budge you know i have been through periods of weight loss where i've seen my clothes fit better before the scale ever moves so um for me though i am a person who has to get on the scale every morning every morning i hop on the scale because it just gives me a picture of what i need to do for the day or what i don't need to do for the day um, more so what I do need to do for the day. It's never really about what I'm not going to do, um, but more so what I am what I need to do because if I have um, gone up a pound, most likely I know why, you know, and a lot of it, it's not always that you've actually gained a pound of fat, but it's, you know, you kind of know. And so me getting on the scale every day is just a... Uh, um, just a reminder that, you know, I need to do better or either I'm on the right track. So, um, I am one that weighs in every morning. Um, another tip that I would like to give you is to work hard and never give up on your dreams, okay? Um, never give up on your dreams of any kind, for one. Um, but also when it comes to weight loss, that's also a goal, you know, that I'm sure you have. Don't give up just because you're not getting that support from friends or family or from anybody. Um, just trust the process. Even when no one else believes in you and they're like, yeah, you didn't done this before. You know, you've tried that before. It don't work. Just don't give up and stop listening to what other people are telling you. Believe in yourself and know that if you commit, if you commit to it and you keep on doing what you know is right, it's going to work. Even if it takes you a little while, trust the process and know that it's going to work. Um, and then lastly, um, the last tip that I have for you, um, the last couple of tips that I have for you are just hanging out with like-minded people, um, you know, people that have the same goals in mind, um, and if you don't have any of those people in your life right now, all of the other tips apply. Trust the process, you know, commit yourself. Um, and then also, um, write your goals down. I think I said that one. Set small goals. Um, and then reward yourself whenever something, whenever you reach a goal. 
um, that you have scale or non-scale victory. Um, be realistic, you know, don't just know that this is not going to happen overnight. Um, I always say that, you know, the weight did not, uh, it didn't happen overnight, so it's not going to change overnight. So definitely just knowing that, um, be realistic. Just know that, you know, it's going to take some time, but it is going to happen. So these are the tips I have for you. Um, I will be back. Um, but I definitely wanted to come and let you know that I am still on this journey. I have not given up. I, um, and I'm hoping that this is inspiring someone else to get started on your journey as well. So don't forget to check out my other videos that I have as well. Um, if this has helped you in any way, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also hit the little bell, um, the little notification bell, so that every time I get a bright idea, um, you will be notified to know, um, to see what it is, what the idea is that I have gotten. Um, until next time, dream big.